what is it that doesn't turn young people on about <laughs> investing? Like, uh, you know, they they see the super, they don't even consider it's theirs. They couldn't give a shit about the super. Mm-hmm. Um, they're happy to take it, but they don't care about it. Um, they're not thinking, and, and equally, they're probably living day by day. They're not thinking about what's going to happen when I turn sixty-five or whatever retirement age will be in that. But by the time they retire. Was it? What is it in their heads? Um, do they give up? Are they give up? Saying, oh, this is all too bloody hard. I'm never going to get a house like mum and dad have got. Is it about that? Or? I reckon it's exactly that. It's going, why would I listen to someone who did this 50 years ago? Your circumstances were different. And then the person who did it 50 years ago is like, yeah, but interest rates were higher back then. You say, yeah, but like, you know, I could have bought a house for like $50,000. So there's that disconnect with going, young people don't want to listen to the old guys because they're like, you don't understand my circumstances now. You don't live on social media. You didn't get brought up in this environment. And I think because of that, they're like, some old dude's talking about super. Well, I'm not going to listen 